All right, we have a Coachman Cross Trek uh, Class B motorhome built around a Ford Transit, uh, 2020 Ford Transit uh, chassis. And Cody is going to tell us about alternator charging and customer connection points as they pertain to a lot of you people doing transit conversions. Cody, where do they hide the customer connection point in this vehicle? Good question. Uh, typically it's gonna be at the back area of the driver's seat. Uh, it typically will have a plastic cover on it. Kind of just looks like a black box. Uh -huh. Pop this off and you've got uh, some consumer connection points. Uh, in this particular application, there's two. Uh, the smaller post is your consumer connection point one. It's rated for 60 amps. Uh, it's constant 12 volts. And that's, is this specific to model 2020 years or just a unique configuration? Uh, it's specific to Ford Transit and at what year they provided this CCP, I'm not 100% sure, but we certainly see it on a lot of new ones. What we don't see frequently is having both CCP one and two. Those are either individual or they come together sometimes, but in this application, there's both CCP1 and CCP2. And uh, this particular one was having an issue. And So they, this rig has AGM batteries with a factory battery combiner system coming off of that 60 amp CCP? Correct. Uh, they wired up, the RV manufacturer wired up CCP1, which has got a 60 amp potential. Um, it's not working. Uh, our theory is that they blew the fuse, which is located underneath the seat. And chances are, you know, the alternator charging system was trying to put more current into this big AGM battery bank than 60 amps can handle and that fuse blew. Uh, so lucky for this customer, there's a CCP2, which is 175 amp rated. Is that on only when the ignition's on or on all the time? It's on only when the ignition's on, Okay. The CCP2. CCP1 is constant 12 volts. Uh, CCP2 is ignition controlled. Uh, to make this really simple for this customer, we're just gonna transfer this cable over to CCP2. That 175 amp threshold should handle any sort of alternator charging current demand uh, that goes into these batteries and okay. should be back in business. If a rig like this came in and we were installing 400 amp hours of lithium batteries. Would we connect to CCP2, the top one up here, with a 2 aught cable using our straight shot kit? Yeah, that would be ideal if you're going for maximum amp bridge. Uh, you're not wanting any DC to DC charging. That's your best direction to go in. Here's an example of a Ford 2021 Transit. Cody, tell me what we're looking at here. All right, so this customer had uh, another shop install an isolator for alternator charging. Uh, this is the isolator. Uh, it's equivalent to what like a Cirrix uh, 230 would be, except this one's rated for 140 amps. Uh, he decided at some point he wanted to get DC to DC charging, uh, so we estimated dual Orions and he wanted it to be connected properly to the factory CCP instead of uh, through this system and we ended up having to take apart the entire uh, chassis battery and box and uh, consumer connection point housing down here as you can see exposed to find the original wiring um, so we took out this isolator and this black wire is what was on the other side of this isolator that he had directly connected to his battery. We have rerouted it to the interior connections of the consumer connection point. Uh, on the outside is where we are accustomed to connecting. CCP1 is, is the smaller one down low as we've talked before and CCP2 is the, the larger one, the 175 amp rated ignition controlled relay that operates that connection point and instead of routing this cable out of the seat and around we've decided to route it through the interior of the consumer connection point and terminate it on this post which is the equivalent to terminating it on this outside post um, and then he's going to be all set for current delivery to the dual Orions that are back by his system and it will be properly connected the way the factory likes it. All right, so for first time installers, people new to transits, 
What does CCP mean and why do they care? Good question. CCP is, it stands for Consumer Connection Point. Uh, it's where the chassis manufacturer wants the consumer to connect any sort of auxiliary charging uh, capability. In the Ford Transit, Transit, there is a Consumer Connection Point 1 that's rated for 60 amps and a Consumer Connection Point 2 that's rated for 175 amps. So to dial that back a bit, uh, if you want to touch your alternator with anything you're adding to the vehicle you attach it via the ccp and you do that for simplicity and for preserving the warranty is that correct that is correct right on